Hey everybody, all the Metagrid users around the world. Hope you're doing great. I actually am. I got some really, really great news for the studio at the very last days of 2020. Yeah, I'm shooting this at the very last days of 2020. And I'm wishing to myself and to you that 2021 is really the same as the end of 2020 for me, full of good news. So I welcome you back in my studio and to our Metagrid series and all the good news also actually concern Metagrid because version 1.7 is out and together with that version there's one cool feature. You can now not only share your layouts, your pages through Dropbox, but you can save them as files in your device locally or share them via email, WeTransfer or any medium of your choice. But that's not the feature we're going to talk about today. Today, we're going to focus on Metagrid working with multiple applications at once because it's possible and it's amazing and I use it all the time. Let's get into it. And you know what? I've actually already showed you that feature in the previous episode about how I use Rx with Nuendo and Metagrid. So let's start with a small roundup of what we already know. This is my Nuendo screen with any of my projects. It's like whatever for now. And I can choose any sample on my timeline and send it to Rx Connect with a simple macro I have here. So Rx window pops up on my screen. And actually, moreover, my Metagrid layout changed because Metagrid knows what application is currently in so-called focus and it adjusts automatically. So that means you may have a separate screen with separate commands, combination of keys, commands, icons for each and every of your apps. And well, this is just the beginning because this is new window screen plus Isotop RX screen. Let's get back to Nuendo screen. As I said, it's just the beginning. So let's close Nuendo for now. And now what you can see is Windows Explorer. And the icons I'm presenting to you here are actually the icons to launch separate apps from my taskbar here. I do not have to do it with mouse. I mean, I still do it, I have to admit, but if I feel like I can launch any of my apps from here. I can write texts, I can bring my antivirus software here, etc, etc, etc. Actually, there's something slightly out of date because it's EM client here on this icon. And well, I changed my mail client to Thunderbird back again for some reasons. And I used to have some commands for EM client. And now I'm gonna set it up for Thunderbird like really quickly. So first I have to discover the key commands of Thunderbird. So then I can transfer them here. So it works for me from my tablets. Let's go for it. All right, I think I'm ready with my basic Thunderbird setup. I'll set up more later on. And now let's go to the app and see if my Metagrid layout works. Let's mark this as unread. Yeah, it works. Let's delete this. Of course, I'm not gonna delete this. It's important. Let's write a new message. Yes, it's here, 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 and here even. Wow, okay, great. Let's reply to this message. I already did, but just testing. And let's reply to everybody. I need a group of people writing to me. Yeah, and there's one here. The reply to all works good. It works smooth. It doesn't need you to set up anything. You just, of course, need to set up all your apps you're gonna use. But this screen changing, it just happens and it's efficient, it's reliable. I love it. Actually, showing you anything more that I use on my everyday basis is Unreal Engine. 
This is my main tool when working for computer games, and I've got already some basic layout for it. I'm going to show it to you now without getting too deep into some details. Let's open any project. Well, I don't know if you're familiar with game audio or game dev in general. Anyway, that's how it goes. That's my left iPad. It's got some uh, basic commands for rotating and scaling objects. Here I've got some browsing and editing single assets. I have duplicating and creating new folders and assets. And also I got some additional icons here for recording my screen, for simulating the game, for playing the game inside the editor. It's quite simple, but it already makes me work faster and more efficient in things I do with Unreal Engine. And there are actually more layouts, more pages, more apps I'm using with Metagrid, but let's maybe stop it right here and not make it too long, right? But there's one more function I have to mention. It's called Omnispace and it's here. As you can see, it's empty actually on my tablets because I'm personally not finding it helpful or useful for me, but I still can imagine it's going to be helpful for you. It's a space you can populate with buttons for many apps at once. It does not detect the focus of current application. So you have, if you have any keyboard shortcuts specific for one app and one keyboard shortcut specific for some other app or one keyboard shortcut that does things to many apps at once, this is the place to put it and to use it. As you can see, I'm not using it right now and I'm not going to set it up uh, maybe because I don't find that need in what I do, but yeah, it's here and I suppose it's also cool. Let's sum the things up for today, guys. As you can see, using Metagrid with multiple apps is easy. Everything's automatic. Metagrid knows what you're using and you don't have to set up everything, well, except the apps themselves to use them with Metagrid. I could not recommend it more because it makes really insane, fast and creative. So yeah, check it out, as well as the previous episodes of our Metagrid series. And in the episode six, I'm gonna show you how to customize Metagrid and make it look and behave totally your way. See you soon, guys. Cheers, stay safe, stay creative. Use Metagrid.